Hey guys. It's a snow day! Woo -hoo. Hey guys, it's Canadian Queen 76 and long time no see. Just wanted y'all to know that um, I've missed you guys and I've been working like crazy. But since I've last seen you guys, I have become Team Apple. Woo! So I'm going to be using my iPad to get some of these topics down. I guess we'll start with my hair. I have my 27 month lock update. And uh, this style is just brought to you by an a old curl wrap. I use like pink rollers to curl it. And this is probably day five or six. The curls are falling down. But um, yeah, that's what I'm rocking right now. Nothing is happening on the forefront. Staying healthy, staying long. Um, I do color it sometimes dark brown because it tends to fade. But other than that, I'm still sticking with my old regimen of keeping just essential oils and um, what else? Just washing it every um, two weeks. That's about it. I don't do anything else with my hair. This face is brought to you by my coupon extravaganza and getting stuff for almost near free, CoverGirl Cosmetics. Um, lately, I have been playing Ruzzle. Love, love, love that app. So if you want to play me, I'll go ahead and give you my, <laughs> my sign on here. I probably have about like 20 games going on. <laughs> Can you see that? Um, let's talk about the Super Bowl. Beyonce killed it. I don't care what nobody says. I am such a huge Beyonce fan. And what I like about her is that she comes out and she gives it her all. And I don't know I don't know what people are talking about, where all this criticism is going in. But if you don't do your dance routines for like a, a year and a half, especially after having a baby, it takes a lot to get, get that body back tight and right and ready to go out and perform. And she killed it. Um, my favorite part though was like when Kelly popped out the stage and she struck her pose and then Michelle came out and you know Michelle's real late so when she came up that little boom went pew, and she went up and she was almost about to fall so she had to strike it and look fierce and uh, it's always good to see Desi shout I cannot wait for the Miss Carter world tour and I'm definitely trying to be in the scene and go see that Let's see at work we're participating in what we call the Biggest Loser Challenge. It has nothing to do with the show. It's just that we're trying to lose weight and try to do it together. And um, I just went to the store and I was trying to like get some vegetables. And I saw the weirdest things. Have you all ever seen purple cabbage and orange cabbage? Let me take uh, show you a picture of it. I Actually, it wasn't cabbage. It was purple cauliflower and orange cauliflower and I particularly do not like cauliflower I wasn't going to buy it but I just never seen something like that before so if you've seen something about it let me know because I was just like in shock when I saw it but let's see what else I got going here um my friends and I when we went on a vacation to Florida we took this picture and I thought it was so funny and cool at the time but after seeing Django with Jamie Foxx and Carrie Washington, I was like, this picture kind of looks like we could be in that movie. What do y'all think? <laughs> I'll show y'all that picture soon. Um, last week and the week prior to that, I had an upper respiratory, well, not upper respiratory infection, but a sinus infection. So all up in here was just all congested and my ears were congested and it was, my throat was hurting, just everything. All the sinus cavity was going ballistic. Well, because I like to look cute when I'm sick, I decided to take a photo shoot. What do y'all think about these pictures? <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm nuts. But I got a lot of hits on Facebook and I thought it was funny because I just was like, just fooling around and then playing around. Um, on an outing, we have this new art studio. It's called Painting with a Twist. And you go in, you can go with um, with your friends or you can go with a large party. And essentially what happens is there's an artist there and they teach you how to paint a picture for the night and have like a theme. I'll put um, the website down. Hopefully you have one in your area. Well, I was able to paint a horse and I'm going to show you my picture. I thought it was awesome. It's cool. I haven't hung it up anywhere, but he's, you know, he's doing his thing. 
All right, this portion of the video is not for the guys if you're very sensitive. But if you are, then you need to go ahead and fast forward against, uh, past this part or just go ahead and do it. You have been warned. Well, ladies, I had the opportunity to go to see my doctor and I had my annual visit. And guess what? She felt like she found something in my left breast. Man. So, I was referred to... Uh, get a mammogram and I heard that you're not supposed to get those until you're about 40 if if your case is fine but if your doctor finds something you find something or there's a history of breast cancer in your family then unfortunately this is the experience that you have to go do and you know when they asked I knew something was that when they start asking me if I've ever had kids or if I've ever been pregnant because when they ask those questions, that means I'm about to be violated in the worst way. So I go to this, um, go to the clinic, and um, they were very discreet. You can tell that they've done this thousands of times, and um, I don't know. I guess I was in shock, still praying that nothing's going on. And um, I just have to say this: when it's you the technician and that machine the machine that squeezes everything your whole world in that moment is just exposed and you know for a lady that i just met she's out she's touching your girly parts all over and smoothing it out i mean the machine it mashes it this way and then the next picture is mashing it that way Oh, everybody tried to prepare me. All of my, you know, colleagues and older ladies who, you know, 40 and over who's, who's had this procedure done. But still, until you're hugging that machine, my goodness. <laughs> I definitely can wait so many more years until, the, until I have to experience that again. So, even though the mammogram experience was pretty shocking and not a fun thing, the good thing was... I had a clean bill of health. There's nothing to be seen and nothing there. Yes. <laughs> Next. <laughs> um, I've been working on my organization in my house. Unfortunately, I'm not really good at it. Uh, I just have stuff all over the place and I know that I just need to get rid of it just get rid of it but I have some techniques and I'm going to take pictures of some of the things that I've been trying um, one of my favorite things now is the over the door shoe hanger you know the little cloth shoe hanger where you have the 24 um, shoes that you put in there well instead of doing that I've been putting in knickknacks and stuff that I've been using so I'll have to show you a picture of what I've been doing um, help me out though I'm looking for some other storage um, tips on what to do I think I might need to get another bookcase and maybe another dresser drawer for my clothes. And I'm definitely going to get rid of clothes. Donate to whoever you need to. Donate whatever you're not wearing. I encourage you to. My dogs. They're so cute and they're so wild and they're so just everything. But uh, I decided to get them dog houses because I wanted them to be able to enjoy themselves outside. And enjoy um, being out there without, you know the elements getting on them so I got them dog houses and I got the little flaps on it so they can like go through but my big dog she's all freaked out about going in her dog house because that little flap pushes back on her so she thinks it's pushing her back out the dog house so she really doesn't go in there but I'm sure she would enjoy it if she got to use it um I'm, it's better than nothing out there like getting rained on getting just the wind blowing on you but my boy dogs they figured it out they go in there so I try to put treats in there so they can go in there but um they're so cute Hopefully they'll figure it out. Um, cheap gas is next to my job. In my city, where I live, gas is really expensive. And there's only been like one day where gas wasn't. So I'm going to take a picture of how cheap it was this day. And it might have been cheaper before for you. But anytime I see anything under $3, I'm so hype. <laughs> Been doing some home improvements. Um, let's see. One day I walked in my house and it was un you know just an unexpected trip home, just checking things, checking on things when I wasn't here, and my water heater it just 
my water heater just gave out. And if you've ever had that happen to you or you've ever seen it, it's like a flood, a mini flood. So it got all over the carpet, it got all over the linoleum in my kitchen. And fortunately, the furniture and everything else was safe. But uh, for five days, everything had to dry out to prevent mold. So after the insurance claims were all said and done, I was able to get this. It went from ugly to pretty. Voila, thanks Lowe's. <laughs> and they didn't do it for free, so I guess that was free advertisement for them. I didn't talk to y'all during Christmas, but I got to spend the holidays with my mom and my brother and my sister and all of their offspring, everybody. There's a lot of kids in this family and um, we had a great time. We had so much fun. We just kicked it. We played um, Wii. Everybody played basketball. Everybody ate tons of food and we talked about everything under the sun. And so here's a picture of us just cheesing and just happy to be together. <laughs> I love you. And oh, Halloween. I was at school. I didn't do anything really special. I don't think I even went trick or treating this year. But we had this um, teacher contest where we had to like be a word, and my word was collision. And so I didn't really want to go through it, all of that stuff without making your clothes look bad. But I wanted to like do stuff, stuff, do some makeup on my face. But unfortunately, my makeup looked really real, so I had to end up, uh, end up like at the end of the day taking it off. So my makeup was looking real crazy. So the kids, when I went through and said I was in an accident, really thought that I was in an accident, and I saw well, it. It was a complete fail. But if I really want to look like something bad happened to me, um, then I'll show y'all these pictures, and you judge for yourself. I am still couponing. However, I've taken some time off which I've been hearing I've been missing some really good deals but um, in case you've taken time off like me and your coupons have expired um, military bases and troops and families overseas can use coupons all the way up until like six months expired so there's a program that I've looked at and looked into called coupons to troops.com where you are matched up with a family and you are actually sending coupons to them to their house and the family that I've been matched up with they live in Italy so it's pretty cool so I send them coupons um, anything over a pound you have to fill out a customs form so that way it can get over there in one piece and they know what's in what's in the in the container but I think it's awesome and an awesome way to get back to um, the military family serving our country so check out that program and don't let just don't throw away your expired coupons give them the give them to them and or send them to me or whatever and just remember giving your coupons to military families overseas is a great way for them to connect to the states because they're getting a piece of mail from someone personally over there and I'm not sure if they get coupons or circulars but I know that they don't, they don't get newspapers there so it's a good program check it out look into it become somebody who donates their coupons if you don't do it already last but not least <laughs> um, I got to vote and I went and I took my favorite cousins with me, T and Age, and here's some of the footage from that. Had a very good time hanging out with my girls and it was a very good experience. And the lines were long. <laughs> but it's okay because we all know how the election turned out, right? Hey, what are we about to do today? Go vote. Where are we voting at? Ride Station High School where my cousin Day Day goes. Uh huh. Cool. You're not excited? Why not? Mm -hmm. Say, I fully don't understand what's going on. Smile. Vote for Barack Obama. <laughs> well, that's all that I have. I hope you had a good time catching up with me. And I, I'm going to try to get back with y'all with another video and just be back in it. And I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Bye.